Hello everyone. I just want to come on here and show you guys um, some things that I um, have gotten. Um, I was so happy that I finally made a trip to a Hobby Lobby that was um, near me. Well, not exactly near me. It's like 45 minutes away. But I didn't realize there was one that close to me. So I went there um, last Saturday. Got a couple things. There was so much in this Hobby Lobby. This this thing was humongous. So I was there with my kids and they were starting to complain because we pretty much went through like every aisle so I could see. Like it was pretty much my Michaels and my AC Moore stores put together. I mean this Hobby Lobby was huge. So I know I definitely want to go back but my kids were complaining that they were walking around too much. So I kind of just grabbed a couple things and left. So I'll probably just show you guys that stuff first. <laughs> And some other things that I have gotten as well. So I don't want to make the, um, the video too long. But the first thing that I snatched up was this. And sorry about the appearance of my nails. I am in the, as you see, a lot of, uh, a lot of lifting on this hand. But, uh, yeah, I'm just between trying to figure out what I want to do with them. So... The first is this confetti, sort of like really small chopped mylar that we all use for our nails and mixes. I was trying to see if there was other colors, but I didn't see any. So I just saw the pink and I grabbed it. Then I needed a black ink pad for all my stamps. Surprising I didn't have one. So I grabbed this one. I don't know if it's a good brand. So I just picked this one up. It's a black one. So I got that. Uh, my husband pointed this out to me. It is a letter Q. It was the only Q that was there within the stamps. So he told me to get it because I told him that I wanted to put something like uh, when I send friend mail or swaps. Just, you know, a little stamp or something. So it's a Q. So I snatched that up for $2. And then I saw these baggies that I've known a lot of people that go to Hobby Lobby get. And these are the 150 piece 1.5 by 2 inch baggies. Because the ones that I just recently gotten from, uh, I think, Walmart, they're like the smaller ones. So when the mix is in there, the mix is kind of bunched up and risks the, the chance of your, your baggie busting. So I got this one, so hopefully it gives it a little more room for the mix to move around. So I grabbed one, two, <laughs> three, four of them. Like they're all hanging there, and I was like, I don't know when the next time I'm going to come to Hobby Lobby, because it's not like something that my husband can just, you know, jump in the car and go five minutes away. It's like, you know, 45 minutes away, so we're not going to go there, like, every weekend. So I grabbed four of them, so I'm happy about that. And then I grabbed the 150 piece 2 by 3 inch ones. So I cannot wait to use these. I heard these baggies are pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much my small little haul from Hobby Lobby. Like I said, um, I was trying to like look up and down every aisle. But, you know, my daughter started to complain that she wanted to, you know, leave. Her feet was hurting. Blah, blah, blah. They were bored because, you know, like I said, I was going through every aisle. So I was just like, fine. The next time I come, I'm leaving you guys behind. So, yeah, that's that's it for Hobby Lobby. I can't wait to go back. I was pretty excited when I walked through the doors. <laughs> All right, now is a uh, a little haul of some washi tapes that I got. That um, I'm in a group on Facebook where they pretty much just take orders for uh, different styles of washi tapes and different designs and this was their, my first order from them so I was pretty happy with what I got I'm just trying to because I think I got four of each of these that I'm about to show you these are like a metallic rose ones and as you can see they are a rainbow one and, you know, you get pretty much on there. I don't know if they're, like, the soft material kind or the paper kind of washi tape. I didn't open these. But when I saw that she was advertising these, I had to get it. Like, I just love the color. 
So I got the one with the roses, and then I got the one with the mermaid scales. And I fell in love with these. I was like, oh my goodness, they are the cutest. I just love the metallic, different colors. So I got four of these, and these weren't like really expensive. I think they were like maybe one dollar and something each. I don't have the my order form on me. It wasn't sent in my package, so I can't really tell you like offhand exactly how much they were. But I think yeah, they weren't they weren't really um, expensive. I think my whole order was like less than twenty dollars. And then I got these. Some more mermaid ones, but these just have uh, the gold metallic in pink, purple, and uh, a really pretty mint color. So I was like, yay, when I saw those. But yeah, like I said, not expensive at all. Not expensive. Um, and then I got two of these, which they are, of course, you can see the thinner. It's not like a whole tape. These are all as thin as this one here that I'm about to show you. So I got two of the pink, two of the mint, and two of the purple and the polka dots. And then I had gotten four of the white backing with the different color metallic dots. They're so pretty, so, so pretty. And then this one I think was a uh, one that they made for the, the group buy. And it says, don't give up and don't give in. As you can see, it's like a really pretty, like, uh, marble type of uh, background. So, look, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I got twenty-five uh, washi tapes, and they were less than. $20 for my order so if I can remember to uh, try to link down the group by a page that um, I'm friends with on Facebook I'll try to if not if we're friends on Facebook get a hold of me and I'll see if maybe I can add you to the group by uh, group okay so that 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 and I'm not entirely sure if I should probably just cut this one off and then make another uh, video for uh, the other things that I got so you know what I'll just show you guys this I went to Walgreens hoping to find uh, you know stuff they have on clearance you know nail polishes and stuff and then I found this Essie and I fell in love with it it's uh, on a silver platter and look how pretty that is it has of course like a iridescent uh, base but the little um, I don't know how close I can get. But the glitters that are in there are like blue and they have like a holographic to them. It's real pretty. Nothing silver about this because the iridescent is like gold. <laughs> but I did do a swatch. And this one was like about three coats. I loved it. I just love the the iridescent hexes that are um not the iridescent the holographic hexes that are in there. Probably be a lot more um, shinier if I put a top coat, but I just did three coats of this before doing the video, so I fell in love with that. And then I went to Walmart uh, on Sunday, and we were walking around, and oops, dropping my tapes. I found this. I know I'm trying to get all crafty now. So these are craft scissors, the value pack. I think this was like $10. Easy to use, multiple shapes. And these are the shapes that the scissors uh, can make out on the paper. And there's the other one. And they're all different color handles. I just like them because I like when I I'm, I, I want to start, you know, doing like my friend mail or swaps or whatever. A little more, you know, homemade, a little more, you know, nice, I should say. And, you know, when you have little pieces of paper that you want to put stuff on, you know, you want the borders to look a little nice. So, 
I thought I grabbed this. I found one at Hobby Lobby. I think it was like $20, but the scissors were a lot uh, bigger. But I was like, at the time, I didn't want to, you know, when I was there, I was like, I don't want to pay $20 for no scissors. <laughs> so, you know, I went to uh, Walmart and I found a 12 pack. And it's all good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end this video here before it becomes any longer. And I will be back with some stuff that I found at the Dollar Tree. Thanks you all for watching. Bye.